Hi, it's Corrine for the Cut at Home design team, and today I'd like to share with you a new collection that Cut at Home is carrying. This is from the Heartfelt Creations Italiana Riviera collection, and this is a beautiful collection. I did make a project with this that I will share with you in a moment, and I also have some stamps and dies to share with you, but let me quickly show you their 12 by 12 paper pad collection. With all of the Heartfelt Creations paper pad, they all come with double-sided 24 sheets and they always have cut aparts that make any scrapbook page or card or mini book mini album that you're going to do easy to work with so look at all these little tags that they have they have little stamps in here they have all these cut aparts all these little ticket stamps I love these this is just a gorgeous collection and look at the back side of this as well I love the detail in this here are the six by six pieces and here these can be used if if you're not um, if you're if you like simplicity in your scrapbook albums you can simply add a photo to this and maybe a little bit of journaling and your page is done if you'd like to do more you could fussy cut these out pop them up and add um, different embellishments to them it's completely up to you on the back of this page they have the alphabet that would be great if you used a half inch circle punch. Some more cut aparts and little tags. All different sizes as well. These are great for card fronts if you want to add them as a base to your card front. Look at this collection is beautiful. They have the border strips as well to cut apart. And they also have these. These make great titles. I used one of those in today's project. They also come with um, a variety of different stamp sets that you can choose. So this one we have the Italiana script set. This is absolutely gorgeous. It has that grapevine cluster up there and this beautiful set, uh, script. This right here shows it's four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So these are great for cards. And all of theirs are a deeply etched cling mount stamp and they all come on these um, cardboard pieces that you can add into a uh, binding ring system if that's how you like to hold to store your heartfelt creation stamps. This one here is Italiana Riviera. It comes with a sentiment that says friends like wine get better with age and then this beautiful detailed stamp. This one here is the Riviera gateway. It says so grateful for you and this beautiful imagery here. It also has sweet moments with you. I love that one. This one is Italiana Grapevines. This is a beautiful stamp set. Comes with all of these different stamps. I believe there's five of them. Four pieces. Yeah. Now, if it has a matching die cut, it will show you here. It says pairs with Italiana Grapevine die. This one here is the Italiana Grape Clusters, and it shows me that it pairs with the Grape Clusters die. This one is the one that comes with five dies. It has the wine bottle, the wine glass, this little cluster, and the large grapevine, and the two smaller ones. And the other stamp is the Italiana Grape Borders. Beautiful, I use these today in the project, so you'll be able to see that. And here are the matching die sets. This one is the Italiana Grape Clusters. It comes with six different pieces. And here is the die that it matches with. So it easily cuts those out. And here is the Italiana Grapevines. 
So as you can see, this entire collection just makes it so easy to do like a mini album or tons of cards. Beautiful collection to have. Here is the project that I made today. This is one of those journal books that I got from the dollar store. I love working with these and I altered it. I used some of the background paper. I stamped this border die which comes from the Italiana grape borders. I stamped it at the bottom and the top and I colored them in using some Tim Holtz Distress Ink markers. I'll have the colors listed that I used on Cut It Home's blog if you're interested. And I also used this large die here and stamped it, colored it in. I added a little bit of Wink of Stella to the grapes. And then from the paper collection, I fussy cut out one of these sayings and it says happiness always. I backed it on a little bit of the paper from the collection. And this here is a journaling card from the paper collection that I fussy cut out. Let me show you here in the front. It was this one right here. So I just fussy cut that out, added that to the front of my book. And then I fussy cut some of the flowers and added them on there. Added a few pearls and two little sweetheart blossoms from Wild Orchid Crafts. On the back I have the pattern paper. This is an absolutely beautiful paper. You can see the script in the background. And I love that it coordinates with that script stamp. stamp. On the inside I added some more of the gorgeous pattern paper. And then to the back of it I did as well and added a tiny border with several pieces of the cut aparts to journal on and add into the book. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project and I hope you love this collection as much as I do. All the information will be on Cut at Home's blog and all the links for this product will be there as well. Thanks so much for watching.